Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Ivan here from IvanSlaji.com. Excuse the echo first off. I'm in a new place here, the ceilings are high, I don't yet have a rug down on the floor so it doesn't absorb a lot of the sounds and I also don't have my onboard mic because I haven't unpacked it yet. But I thought, it doesn't matter, I'll still get on here and record a video for you all uh, because I want to talk to you about a new book that I have read. Well actually, I actually read it I think I just said actually twice. During the Christmas break between Christmas and New Year, I spent uh, a good number of days reading a, a, a brand new book. In fact, it's a brand new genre for me. I have not read a book in the thriller space before. And this was a new book that I read. It's called No Exit by Taylor Adams. It's a fantastic book. It, for, and I'm not sure whether it's because I'm biased or not because it's like the first book I've read in the genre. Um, but if that's what the genres, new genres like, and that's the quality of books that are coming out of it, I, I have to say I was impressed. I actually read it on the uh, Kindle, uh, but I will also show the cover of the book here as well. It's a book, and I won't give away any spoilers, I'm not one for spoilers, but I will give you a review. Uh, I think it's about 200 and... 260 odd, 230 odd pages long, but it, it had me engaged the entire time, and it's it's certainly well written. It's written for the, the current day. Uh, I would say it's probably you know young adult uh, to onwards. It's certainly not a book that anybody you know below the age of probably 16 would probably want to read, um, just because it is a little bit somewhat violent in some aspects of the book just because of what kind of plays out um, in the events. Without kind of going into too many spoilers, essentially what happens uh, or the book's premises is about a girl who's traveling across state. Uh, she happens to find herself stranded at a rest stop and discovers that uh, there is a potential kidnapping that's occurred. The story kind of unfolds as who actually is the kidnapper. Uh, and there's some alternative events around that. So giving any more details than that would give the story away, but it is an exceptional read. The way it's written is engaging. It certainly kept me hooked. I read the book in about three sittings, a few hours at a time. I'm not the fastest reader, but I'm certainly not the slowest reader. Uh, but each page wanted to keep me going. It certainly was a book that I did not want to put down, and every time I did put it down and I had to kind of duck away to do something else, I was certainly looking to come back for more. I got it on the Kindle just because it's cheaper. Uh, actually, I think I might have even got it on uh, Kindle Unlimited. I'm not quite sure. Now, interestingly, I got the Kindle for Christmas. It was a Christmas present. I I was steadfast on saying I will not be comfortable reading on a Kindle. I wouldn't enjoy reading on a Kindle. I love books. I love the feel. I love the smell. I love the tactile you know, grip of the book and holding the book, the covers. Just the whole thing about a book is something that I really, really enjoyed. However, I got a Kindle and I was pleasantly surprised. I was hard set on, on believing that a paperback hard copy version of the book would be better. But as I said, I was pleasantly surprised. Is It's super easy to hold, uh, super light. I got the 2019 six inch version. It has a backlight in it, which is very kind of natural. It has a slight blue glow to it, but when you turn it down, you don't want it super bright anyway because um, it just takes away from the from the experience. But when you turn it down and you just leave it enough for you to just be able to see the the, the book the, the text, um, it's perfect. It, it doesn't it's not straining on the eyes. Uh, the whole it's super light. The price I think this one in uh, at least in Office Works here in Australia or JB Hi-Fi we have. Um, I think it's around about $119, $120 thereabout, give or take a little bit. So I read No Exit on this and it was a it was an enjoyable experience. I'm now reading Motherless Brooklyn on here as well. I also have the paperback version of Motherless Brooklyn, but I'm choosing to read it on a Kindle instead just because it's just so convenient and easy and super light to carry around. I'm just waiting on a case for it because I don't want to get it damaged. No Exit, highly recommended. I don't read many fiction books in general as a whole, so even jumping into the fiction um, category is something new for me. I, I typically read non-fiction books, uh, but I've started to read uh, fiction, and diving straight into, that, straight into that category, I guess, was No Exit for me. I would rate the book a five, five out of five. Easy, five out of five. I think I even rated it, I think I rated it a five out of five on my Goodreads which I'll leave a link to below. Without hesitation, it is the type of book that you can make a movie out of, and it would be an exceptional movie as well. If you 
you want to uh, look at adding a new book to your thriller genre, I would certainly recommend No Exit by Taylor Adams. Fantastic book, fantastic read, keeps you engaged. It's written really well, certainly suspenseful. Um, the characters, the way the characters are explained, uh, I guess, uh, described. Uh, is really really good. Descriptions of events that play out are, are somewhat graphic but explained again really really well. Uh, overall fantastic book. Uh, 5 out of 5. Highly recommended. Go and check out No Exit by Taylor Adams. I hope you liked this video. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you enjoy my videos and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. I really really appreciate it. See you later. Bye for now.